Hello friends, today we will be reviewing the book CLR by C Sharp by Jeffrey Richard. Hello friends, today we will be reviewing the book CLR by C Sharp by Jeffrey Richard. It's a very very nice book if you are a C Sharp developer you do a lot of C Sharp development this is must read book I would say especially if you are a if you are that kind of person if you are a car driver who loves to look under the hood see how the car works so same way if you are a C Sharp developer you want to know how the dotnet CLR works under under the hood so it's a very great book for that kind of information I will cover three points which I really really like there are a lot of good points the three great points are just in time compilation exception handling and the third point is the garbage collection so if you want to know the internals of three concepts just in time compilation how the exception handling works and the gar garbage collection the memory management so just in time if you don't know if you have no clear idea of how the just in time compilation works he gives very nice examples where he shows how the code is executed how the thread is allocated on one mb stack and how the code which has been converted to intermediate code how the just in time compilation compile the code into the native format stores in the cache and next time when the call comes it goes to the native code in the cache so it's not compiled again so he talks about what are the benefits of just in time compilation what are the drawbacks what are the options you have if you if the uh, i think asp.net website should not matter much the just in time compilation whereas the windows application could be slow so there is an generation tool where we, you can pre compile pre compile all your dotnet application to the native code next comes to exception if you comes come from c++ visual basic area the exception handling is was very new in c sharp so a lot of people criticize the exception handling Jeffrey Richard gives his own opinion in his opinion exception is the way that any object oriented code should handle the exceptions in C++ when you are calling the function you have to see the return type whether it's error code has been returned so it was very tedious coding you have to write lot of code and check whether you have got the error code or the right value whereas exceptions are just exception you handle the exceptions but you don't uh, every method writing up for every method the error conditions is very tedious so he advises against writing that I that type of code writing a function and checking the type code whether it's an error or not error so he give a lot of recommendation for the exception exception handling he shows how to how you can write your own exception which can be very useful if you are you are writing your own framework for ex general framework for exception handling next come to the garbage collection in c++ you have to clean up the code uh, you have to reclaim the memory your, yourself whenever some object is declared a memory is allocated for the object and once you are done you have to deallocate so in com bird before the dotnet came there was a reference counting in the, how the reference counting worked it checked uh, there was a reference counts of the object being used and the problem was if two objects are holding reference of each other that is a deadlock so those two objects will remain always in the memory because they are holding reference to each other so the garbage collection took care of this one he shows how the garbage collector goes through each object 
first thing that it does it is suspends all the threads because so that object state doesn't change then it uh, checks whether object is reachable or not reachable if no object is not reachable it marks them for deleted deletion and if the object stays in the memory for a longer time it is moved to generation 1 generation 2 so basically it assumes the garbage collector assumes if there are some objects in generation 1 generation 2 they are gonna stay for longer time wherever the generation 0 the uh, the chance of them getting clean is uh, high then he talks about the server 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 side gag mm, global gag and server side gag and client side gag so client side gag you have to be very careful about the responsiveness because it suspend all the threads so, so the your ui could become unresponsive whereas, whereas server side that is not true then he talks about when the garbage collection is called but it's like when some there's low memory garbage collection is performed <coughs> when some app domain is unloaded then garbage collection is cleaned up so it's a great book um, it has lot of in-depth knowledge of clr but if you are looking the, the, if they are looking for some more information about collections adio.net web forms asp.net mvc so this is uh, that you may have to buy some look for some additional book this book is as the author says is not for that uh, thank you everyone for watching my video my name is Bikas Kenny. i have more than 20 years of experience in it industry i am Togab certified architect do subscribe to my channel for your regular updates thank you